No, Helen, today's a really nice day for a picnic. It is a really nice day. Yeah, I wanted to come down and check out this park. What park is it? It's called Ruby Chow Park. Ruby Chow, like the restaurant? Mm, I don't know, is there a restaurant called Ruby Chow? That's what I heard. Hmm. I just knew she was some really important lady. I thought if we came down to the park, I might learn something about her. Well, maybe we should do a Mohai Minute about her. Hmm. I wonder what that would look like. In 1948, Ruby Chow and her husband Ping Chow opened a restaurant here on Broadway and Jefferson. It was the first Chinese restaurant to be built in Seattle outside of Chinatown, the area that we now refer to as the International District. Ruby was born in Seattle in 1920, the eldest daughter of 10. She went on to work in New York, where she met Ping, a renowned Chinese opera singer. The couple moved back to Seattle and opened Ruby Chow's restaurant and catered to the rich and powerful of Seattle and some movie stars. Yeah, and I heard that Bruce Lee worked at Ruby Chow's restaurant. Actually, it's true. Ping was good friends with Bruce Lee's dad, and so the Chows decided to take Bruce Lee in. We searched high and low, and we finally found a menu from Ruby Chow's restaurant here at the Seattle Public Library. This menu was donated to the library just this week. And it's really awesome to look at this menu because it really tells you a lot about Seattle's nightlife at the time. Um, Ruby Chow's would have been open until 2 a.m. and you can really see the prices of the food is a lot different. Yeah, for example, you can get a full Mandarin duck dinner, which includes barbecued pork, wonton soup, egg rolls, duck, and a lot more for just $3.50 per person. While Ruby Chow is well known for her culinary endeavors, her most important work was in her civic activism. She was the first Asian American to be elected to the King County Council in 1973. And during her three terms on the County Council, she advocated for bilingual education in public schools and the interests of the county's fifth district, which includes this area, what Chow adamantly referred to as Chinatown. She was also a trailblazer for women. She was the first female board member and then the first female president of the Seattle chapter of the Changhua Benevolent Association, which advocated for Chinese immigrants' rights and culture. She also founded the Girls' Drill and Dragon teams in the 1950s, which gave young Chinese-American women a chance to socialize outside of their often tight-knit families and community groups. And because of all of these contributions, the King County Council decided to name this park after her. Wow, she's quite a lady. You know, this isn't really doing it for me. Can we get some more food? Like some hot food? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'm starving. See, <laughs>